Hi there everyone on YouTube. This is Jeff from jeffmobile.com and I'd like to do a two minute vlog about my experiences so far with Microsoft To Do. So as you may know, I'm a big fan of To Do apps and productivity tools and I basically structure my whole life around the methodology described in Getting Things Done, which is David Allen's amazing method described in his book called Getting Things Done. And I've used a variety of different tools over the years, including Google Tasks, Toodle Do, uh, Outlook, Pocket Informant on Pocket PC, and Tick Tick as well, which is a interesting, well-designed website. I find Tick Tick was uh, ahead of its time in terms of the UI, very flexible UI with really good workflow that I really enjoyed. But what happened with Tick Tick was that uh, last week, Tick Tick was down for a whole day for me, and I needed to use it during that day because I was doing a lot of things at home. And given that Tick Tick is a very small company based in Hong Kong with only twenty five people, I found that it was it's not very trustworthy if it goes down for a whole day, and their customer service doesn't acknowledge anything about the downtime. On their Twitter feed. So I looked around for alternatives and I found Microsoft To Do, uh, which is part of Outlook or and Office 365. Outlook itself is an app that is a desktop app and the desktop version of Outlook has the old Outlook tasks, which is very cumbersome and not very productive. But if you go to Microsoft To Do on web browser or using Outlook on the web, and switch to the new version of To Do. They've done a lot of improvements because a few years ago Microsoft purchased Wonderlist. Wonderlist also had a very good UI, but Microsoft is shutting down Wonderlist this year in January 2020, and instead they're asking people to migrate over to Microsoft To Do. And Microsoft To Do, I thought I would give it a, uh, a try, and definitely it is very well designed and is perfectly functional for me. Coming from Tick Tick, I'm missing a few things, like I'm missing the ability to drag and drop tasks in a custom order, which I wish they would just add that feature. And on the web version of Microsoft To Do, it's hard to move an item to, to a different task list because you can't do it from the side panel. You actually only the only way to do it is to right click on the task and move it to the other list by right clicking. But the problem is if you already set the date on that task to something else, it's no longer possible to locate it in that list. You have to use the search feature. So a few little things could be still improved, uh, but in general, it's very functional and I find it does what I need for to-do list management. So I've decided this year will be a, a starting fresh with Microsoft to-do for both for my personal life and I'll be running it a separate version at work. Uh, for under my work email because my work subscribes to Office 365 as well and I'll be using Microsoft to do for my work tasks as well. Previously if at work I was using something called Task Unifier uh, which is an old Java based desktop app which was the best thing I could find up to this point that I could run at work but now that the, uh, the company I work for also supports Microsoft to do I think it's the time to switch over everything. So that's actually what I did on New Year's Eve after I finished having my sparkling apple juice was to set up Microsoft to do for work. <laughs> and kind of a geek, but being a dad now, it's kind of, uh, I don't really go to a lot of parties anymore. Anyways, have a great day. That's a few thoughts about Microsoft to do and uh, hope you have a great rest of the year and if you're interested in productivity tools, definitely check out Microsoft To Do. You can go to todo.microsoft.com. It is a very clean interface. They have a, a Mac app, PC app, Android, and iPhone, and I, iPad as well. So, very good app. That's all for now. Have a great one, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.